I'm Cara Whitehead. I'm Leo Gomez. And I'm Simon McQueen Mason. The digestibility of plant biomass is a topic of great interest at the present time. This is because there's a lot of sugars tied up in the polysaccharides of the plant cell walls that make up this biomass. And if we can get those sugars out in a usable form, we can ferment these to produce all sorts of products such as fuels and chemicals. Unfortunately, these materials are extremely hard to digest and getting a better understanding of what controls that digestibility is a matter of some urgency. So, to be able to use plant material for the production of renewable food, we need to be able to measure the sacrification potential in these plants. So here at the University of York, we are screening large populations of plant material to determine their sacrification potential. Sacrification is the process of breaking complex carbohydrates into its monosaccharide components to produce valuable chemicals via different industrial processes. To measure sacrification potential, we re reproduce industrial processes at a microscale level where we subject biomass to a pretreatment and enzyme hydrolysis to determine the sugars released. This identifies interesting varieties and genotypes. The high throughput system works in a 96 wall plate format. Mild conditions of hydrolysis are used to expose subtle differences between genotypes and it is also flexible enough to support different substrate materials as well as to evaluate different enzymes. The method we use involves the formatting of plant material as a powder which is then pretreated with a diluted acid or alkaline at 90 degrees for 20 minutes. Next an enzyme digestion is performed using a